Welcome to my new video series. Hopefully this will kick off. Uh, this is um, video number one. So, um, in this series of videos, I'm going to um, review um, gay um, books. So that I um, mean, you know, gay graphic novels, mangas, just ordinary novels. And let's begin with today's topic. Alpha's son. So I started reading gay novels recently. The first novel I ever started reading were a few months ago and that the J Gay Agenda. This got me into gay novels. This I uh, I would review them two books we're about to mention, but it's been months and I'm a little unsure um about the content, they're not fresh in my mind. So I'm just going to leave it. But I will tell you I we really enjoyed this book. And also the second novel I ever read were Fifteen Hundred Miles from the Sun. This book is so good as well, so dramatic as well. I really love this book. It did put me off a few times when they're all speaking in Spanish. That I didn't understand. I mean yeah, I know the author is Spanish and the, um no not Spanish Italian or is that the same I don't know but either way it's um speaking in like a foreign language and I didn't understand what they were on about that's why I'm not going to review them too because they're not fresh in my mind but the third gay novel I ever started to read is The Alpha's Son The Alpha's Son is a fantastic story um so basically, it's about this boy here, Max, who is basically an artist. He loves ballerinas, and it's just your average, stereotypical gay guy. Um, and he didn't know they are guys at first, I mean, I don't think, but um, he and his best friend, Katie, went to visit um, Blue Harvest Festival, Blue Moon Harvest Festival, where the wolves, could they, they are wolves, werewolves. And when they're 16, they go to the Blue Moon Harvest Festival, what happens every three years, um, to find a mate on the mate um, one. And basically just, um, Design a passage, trying to um, find your partner for life. Um, Max didn't want to go. He refused on going because he don't see the point of finding a mate. He thinks it's completely useless. But he went anyway for his best friend Katie, who Katie wanted um, for Max to be her mate. So yeah, you'll be a drama back camp but um max before he met went to camp he bumped into this guy called jasper he which wolf he also the alpha's son um so he kind of a big muncho if you will and um at the mating one Jasper and Max became mates, um, but Jasper is so cold, he's so nasty towards um, Max, it's unbelievable, and, but Max, even though Max he called him jerk or a dick, um, he still can't stop having Jasper out of his mind, and when the um, camp finished, 
Jasper is a little freaked out because now he made it to a guy, which he can't be made to a guy. He had to be made it to a Yuna, otherwise his dad will be completely mad. His dad basically rules his life, it's so strict. And he had to find a woman wolf to um, buy on the pack, um, to lead the pack when in the future if anything happens to his dad. Um, and things happen. I don't want to give too much story, but after the camp, it gets dark. It gets really dark. And basically, there are these packs of werewolves called robes who not belong in any pack. They completely, um, yeah, you know, went rogue. And they are vicious. They kill. And um, the robes is a big part to the second half of this story we got our three arcs in this story we got the camp arc we got um the rescue of aisha which aisha is the ballerina who max admires and also the best friends to jasper we got her rescue and the final arc is the party um ambush or party takeover you could say um but I don't really want to say anything more because it was spoiler. And to be honest, to get the full grasp of the story, you should really experience it from the beginning yourself. This came out this year. This is Penny Jessup's first debut title. I was so sad when I finished reading it because I was just so here to um, final page. I mean, when I was reading it, when I was on the final page, I was thinking, she can't read any story like this, can she? And then I read the final page. If you can read that, I hope it's focused. Chasing after the Alpha Sun is the name of the next volume so there's going to be a second volume and because this came out this year and only the middle of 2022 we might not even get the second volume until next year sometime and i just can't wait any longer i really want a volume to right now this is completely amazing and penny jessup did a fantastic job on this gay novel i mean when this first happened, I thought, yeah, I'm enjoying the story. It's really good. I don't see how it's a gay novel, though. It's just about a guy who been assaulted, insulted by this other guy. And about a guy who's trying to find a woman as a mate. And I thought, where the gay connection? Until the mating one. And then it completely went all clear. So, this... This novel is fantastic, completely fantastic. I don't read, I never used to read novels, but the gay gender and 15 miles on the sun changed my horizon. I read in so many gay novels that I am going to review them all. Um, unfortunately, I can't review them too, unless if I decide to reread them again in the future, but that won't be for a very long time. But I've got plenty of other gay novels, gay mangas, got a couple of gay graphic novels. Um, so yeah, I will review all of them in due time. So for this video, it's The Alpha Sun. And if you ever want to read it, please check it out. As I, as for the recording of this video, I believe I'm the second person to post a video about this book. I looked it up and there are only one person who who pretty, pretty, um, I mean, the first person will be viewed for this video, it's so cool. I mean, I'll watch the video and it can be amazing, but I would have thought somebody else would review it because that book is so good, but alas, nobody did. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next video and let me know what you think of the book. And yeah, see you later. Bye.